Hi everybody. Hello, I'm Ryan. I'm Bethany. And we are Ryan and Bethany Board Game Reviews. And today we're going to talk about Ticket to Ride New York and this is published by Days of Wonders. And everybody, you'll want to make sure to subscribe to us because later this month we are going to do a ranking of all of the Ticket to Rides that we've played. All the maps that you can think of. All the maps. All the expansions. All the expansions! It's going to be of good. Them. Yeah, it's going to be great. You want to make sure to stay tuned to um, hear our thoughts on that and to see if we align with that. All right, Ticket to Ride New York. This is one of the smaller box standalone city Ticket to Ride. So you're not playing over a state, you're not playing over a country, you're not playing over a region of the world. You're not even playing on Mars. You're playing in a city of the world. All right, so. Mars? <laughs> <laughs> Ticket to Ride Mars. Yeah, but this is not that. Uh, you are playing, uh, this is a smaller, condensed version. There's several of these city line of Ticket to Rides. Uh, there's a condensed version that has a shorter gameplay, less cards, less you know stats, less less everything. But it's still a Ticket to Ride game. You still get the whole experience just in a smaller package. Let me give you a really quick overview of how to play. All right, here's our setup for Ticket to Ride New York. We basically have a kind of a miniaturized map of New York. Now over here, we have our tickets that we're going to be drawing. Uh, you're gonna start the game with two of them. You can choose to keep either one or both. They're gonna tell you some places you can go. Now this one says here, uh, if you connect the Lower East Side to Wall Street, it's worth two points. It's kind of a short route there. However, this one's a little longer one. If you can connect Times Square to Brooklyn, it's worth eight points, which in this game is a ton. So the longer the route, the more complicated it is, the more points it's going to be worth. Similarly, you're gonna get points when you place uh, routes. So for instance, claiming a route like this would take two orange cards, these transportation cards over here. So we've got two of those, we can turn those in, we could put our little plastic minis here. These are little uh, taxi cabs, I don't know how well you can see that, but they're very, very cute. We could put that there on the board. Based off this chart down here, that's how many points you're gonna get. So. Uh, uh, one train distance is worth one point. Two is two. Three is sorry, it's four. If you have a four length route, it's worth seven points down there. I said train because it's ticket to ride and they're all usually train games. However, this one is not trains, it is taxis. On your turn, you've really only got three actions that you can do. Uh, you can either draw two of these uh, transportation cards, these are called train cards. In this version, they're transportation cards. You can either draw them from the face up row here, or you can draw them from the face down deck over there. You can even mix it up. So you might say, you know, I'll take this one over here, this would replenish, and then I'll take a, a mystery one off the top of the deck as well. If you take one of these wilds, those are really, really strong. So if you take one of those from the face up stack, that counts as your whole turn. That counts basically as two uh, mystery cards or two of the weaker cards. The next action that you can do is just like we did there, claiming a route. So playing the cards that match the symbols there, so if we played four, four of the pink cards there, you'd be able to claim that route. There's gray routes over here. Those are kind of like a wild route. As long as the colors match, they would work. So we could still use, you know, two oranges to do that, or two blues, or two blacks, or whatever you wanted to use to claim that gray route. Now basically all Ticket to Ride games have that same core mechanism. You're drawing those cards, you are placing routes on the board, you can also draw more of those tickets over there as well, those destination tickets, in order to kind of give you more things to go after. But on top of that, each map usually has an additional scoring mechanism. In this particular map in New York, there's these little kind of points all over the board, those little ones there in the middle of those. If you are able to connect your routes to any of those, you are gonna get those points at the end of the game. So it's very, very simple. All it is is you have to touch that route in order to get those points. Also, most ticket to rides have like a score track around the border of the board. This one, however, gives you an actual score pad. So for instance, up here at the top, you put your name, then you put how many points you got from placing routes. Then you put how many points you got down below here uh, for completing your tickets. Then you put how many points you got from touching those uh, spots on the board, and then you get your total there. So this is a very simple version of Ticket to Ride. There's just those three scoring areas, and at the end of the game, whoever has the most points wins. So one of the things that Cities does really well is just it's super portable. I mean, look at this box. Super portable box. There's not even a lot of trains or routes or whatever. they. Where are they in this game? Taxi. Taxi cabs, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> There's not a lot of Uber, them. Uber, Lyft yeah. situations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so it's just a really portable game as opposed to the normal Ticket to Ride box, which is much bigger than, than this. All right, so one of the things that drives me crazy on any game is a 
well, a snake track of scoring points is the worst, but yeah, a, a, that is the worst. a point tracker around the edge of the board, it's so easy to knock into, bump the table, it changes, people cheat, all that kind of, like, <laughs> a, like mm, mm, shift that around a little bit. All right, so I love this one came with an actual score pad. As far as I know, it's the first one that has had one. And I thought that was, was really great. I, I just, the math was just super clear. Um, now, there are some maps that I just wouldn't work for, like I know Africa. Yeah. We have a, a points that are awarded in the game that you can't really go backwards Retro, and, and, yeah. and kind of and do the math on. Um, but on all the ones that can, uh, which most maps that applies to, yeah. I, I would love to have a score pad. So I, I really like that this one has one. I'm thinking about like actually making like an Excel chart or something like that. Oh that my can, gosh, you to he totally would, guys. He's not like just saying this to be funny. He would. <laughs> for each one, each one of the maps too, so that we can just print it out and and then you can just use it. Um, you know, Ryan the inspiration. loves Excel. Like he really does. It's, like he gets excited when we do our budget and stuff. It's like woo. woo. I had <laughs> like, a coworker be like, "Hey, can you make me an Excel sheet for ten dollars?" I was like, "I'll pay you ten dollars to let me <laughs> oh make my this." God. <laughs> I hope you didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. I took the ten dollars. But <laughs> 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 I do love Excel. All right, so past Excel. Let's do a um, review of Excel. Microsoft Excel. <laughs> oh my god. I give you a point. <laughs> it's eleven out of ten. Ele oh Would my recommend. God. See, I'm telling you, he just loves like. <laughs> Fake. This isn't even a bit. This is how much like Ryan really does love Excel. Just give me an excuse to make an Excel sheet. <laughs> I dare you. I will do it. So anyway, <laughs> one of the things that's great about this and, and all the cities games is just how short it is. And I think that's really beneficial when you're playing with younger people. I feel like this is a game that you could definitely play with younger kids. And because it doesn't last that long, was it like 15, 20 minutes or something like that? Mm -hmm. You're not going to lose the attention span. The routes are really short. So it's not like they have to hold up a ton of cards in order to get, you know, those five, four, six, seven routes. They just have to get those one, two, three, and four. And I just think it's easier to play with the younger with the younger audience. Let me see here. <laughs> uh, I will say, out of all the Cities ones, this one had the most simple of the extra score mechanisms. Yeah. Every, every game, every Take to Ride, uh, but, and all the City ones included, have one little extra score mechanism. Yeah. This one was simply just like, be in that city, get a point. Um, so this was definitely, out of every Take to Ride Cities, the simplest uh, one to teach and score. And they're, this thing saying a lot because they're all already pretty <laughs> simple. Which kind of leads to the next, uh, I guess, discussion, which is, I think, in my opinion, and I think Bethany agrees is... I do. These cities, all these small box standalone cities maps, they're all very, very, very similar. Yes. Like, too similar. Like... For, for me, at least, the other maps, as I'm talking about at the end of the month when we do our yeah, list, yeah. they all bring something different to the table, you know? The only thing that this brings different to the table is literally the location where it happens in, like, yeah. one little minor scoring area. There's no hook. There's no twist. There's no, like, like fantastic, you know, mechanism that's happening. They're all just, like, play ticket to ride, miniaturized, and we'll give you one little extra couple points here and there. Like, basically, we can justify owning a lot of the expansions and a lot of the maps to base ticket to ride, but I can't justify owning multiple of the cities because they're so similar. I just can't, like... There's no need, I guess. There's just, like, no need in our collection. Yeah, you need one of these, you know. Um, they're good. They're fine. Like, just find a city that you like. If you like New York, great. If you like London, get that one. If you like Amsterdam or whatever, get that one. But, you yeah. know, there's no point to get... If you're a completionist, even <laughs> like just, just don't save save the money. Uh, it's um, they're all so similar. Yeah. Well, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see our ranking of these at the end of the month. You can also find us on all the places. On Facebook, we are Ryan Bethany Board Game Reviews. On Twitter, we are Ryan Bethany One, and on Instagram, we are Ryan and Bethany. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.